This is a brief video on Fox and Go Span, which is a spectrum analyzer, as the name suggests. It will focus on uh, how to set up Span in FL Studio. I'm using FL Studio 10. Uh, Span's a free plugin from Fox and Go, and it's a very useful tool for helping you see when different instruments are occupying the same frequencies. Uh, for example, you don't want the kick drum and the bass being dominant on the same frequencies, or you won't be able to clearly distinguish between them. At the beginning, you heard this simple sequence. We've got our four drum tracks here, our bass, our synth, and our pad. Now the first thing we want to do is to load span on a mixer channel. I'm going to choose channel 10 for this. Go over here, choose span. And now we need to direct our kick, our bass, our synth and our pad into span. So we choose the kick channel first. And then on channel 10 where we have span, we right click here and select route to this track only. And we do the same for the bass. Route to this track only. The same for the synth. And the same for the pad. Now we've got our four instruments going into span, but we need to do some internal routing in span. So we choose routing up here. I've got to do some input routing. This maps the channels that we've just directed to span into the plugin's internal channels. We're going to utilize all of these, so we just continue along. F, G, H. We're not going to worry about uh, mid side encoding. The group assignments are fine. We've got our four stereo groups here. Uh, for the output routing, uh, we're just going to mimic what we did for the inputs. E, F, G, H. Uh, another neat feature of SPAN is that you can name the input channels and that makes it easier to keep uh, keep an eye on what's going on. So up here instead of just left this will be our kick left and this will be our kick right this will be our bass left this will be our bass right This will be our synth left. This will be our synth right. This will be our pad left. And this will be our pad right. OK, and you can see that the names have been imported under here. We can also uh, assign group names. We only need four of these because we've got our four stereo pairs. For group one we'll put kick. For group two bass. Group three synth. And group four pad. And you can see that we've got the names here and also down here. Now there's uh, one final bit of internal routing that has to be done. And we go up here to the spanner. Click on processing. And for input one, we're going to put our kick. You right click on this and choose kick. Input 2, right click, 
choose our bass, three, our synth, and four, our pad. Now, if we play our track now, we should see those four instruments. Okay, that's fine, but we want to see uh, pairs of instruments. We want to see the kick and the bass at the same time, and the bass and the synth at the same time, and so on. So the way we do that, choose kick, and then up here under underlay, we'll choose bass as the underlay for the kick. And for the bass, we'll choose the synth as the underlay. For the synth, we'll choose the pad and for the pad we'll just go back and choose the kick and now when we play our track we should see the pairs of instruments Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can fine tune the visuals a little bit um, to make everything a bit smoother. Uh, the way we do that is to click on Edit. Uh, we change the block size here to 512. This has to do with latency. That's recommended in the manual. The low frequency is fine at 20. The low range I usually change this to 100. And uh, now if we have a look at our project, we'll see that things are a bit smoother. Another neat feature of SPAN is that uh, it will allow us to sweep through the frequencies to get a better idea of what's going on. And the way to do this is control and left click on the interface. And if you do alt and let go of control, you can change the Q. and uh, we can see what that sounds like. Okay, that allows you to um, identify a bit more easily where you might have conflicts uh, between different frequencies. Well, I hope this has um, helped. Thanks for watching.